of course like, i mean this is just a random flower shop that i took a photo of but like i was thinking about this not to get like super fucking sentimental or anything and i feel like it's very um i don't know if it's like orientalist or whatever but like there's something about japan that like basically maybe because like we are so far away from japan and it's a bit otherizing i guess but every frame is a painting no stop stop bad chesting i'm serious i don't even feel this way about europe and europe is different and i go to europe all the time but japan for some reason is like designed organized in a way where like i don't know it's crazy i don't know if it's the anime factor i don't know if it's that like uh their their emphasis on cleanliness like their cultural emphasis on cleanliness but like every part of this is like so well put together it's so aesthetic new york has moments like this too for sure but it's never to the same degree you're like bro you like japan let me show you how fucking fascist they are yeah i know don't worry there's some really interesting things i talked to gigak about too by the way about japan because like it's not supposed to work these motherfuckers here have like just full tilt capitalism okay capitalism with a with a gigantic emphasis on like nationalism so you know what i mean like it's not supposed to work but it does well obviously it doesn't in the grand scheme of things because the population is aging younger population is very frustrated with a lack of opportunity they have social safety nets even though those social safety nets are like still uh, relatively cheaper in comparison to other countries so it's not supposed to work like japan is not supposed to work at all right because it's crazy capitalism in japan is just like is on overdrive but it works what holds it together this is something that i'm genuinely shocked about because it works in the sense that there are still many many issues but in comparison to america which is also a hyper capitalist dystopia japan legitimately runs like a like a well-oiled machine and i think that there is the the collectivist bent certainly plays a role in it i've talked about this a lot but i also found another thing that gigak was talking about that i find very interesting i was like how the fuck does this shit work why aren't there like more homeless people you know what i mean he's like you get into a company and you get hired to work in a company you're never getting fired they will bully you relentlessly to stop you from actually working at the company but you are there for life. No matter how shit you are, they never fire you. Similar culture in Sweden. They say there are four economies in the world, developed countries, underdeveloped countries, Japan, and Argentina. <laughs> I am Argentinian. That's funny. No, they literally won't fire you. You have to quit. Yeah, they'll do everything to try and get you to quit, but they won't fire you. They do have a high suicide rate. Yeah, so what? You know who also has a high suicide rate, motherfucker? We do. So Japan is literally what, like, all the fucking fascists want America to look like, like an ethno state with hyper capitalist aesthetics. Uh, that's probably why so many goddamn fascists love anime. You know what I mean? And that inherently comes with a lot of issues still, and it clearly doesn't work, but it certainly works better than America. And it's very interesting to see it because like, <laughs> as is the case with every developing nation and every developed nation, it's not the fucking hyper individualism that makes it wonderful. It is literally held together by centuries of collectivist sentiment that is like deeply ingrained. That's it. The only thing that keeps Japan going, despite its hyper capitalist dystopian attitude and, and modes of existence and modes of production, is the literal thousands of years of collectivism deeply ingrained and institutionalized and reinforced culturally through a culture of shame, but also through a culture of education. And you see it, it's built into the fucking core that it unironically even makes this hyper dystopian capitalist, uh, uh, nonsensical mode of existence operate in the way that it does. That's why American made is only cool in America. Japanese made is cool worldwide. That's you're wrong. Japanese made <laughs> Japanese people love American made straight up. It's called abuse and trauma. You can't even smoke weed there though. Tell that to the shut-ins and Hikikomori. I'm not saying there aren't significant issues. There are. Is capitalism working a good thing though? But, but it's not. When I say capitalism working, I mean capitalism, not to get too Marxist here, okay? But capitalism is always operating on borrowed time. Because of the inherent contradictions that exist within capitalism, you can only extend its lifeline. You can only offer it a lifeline. You can, you know, solidify a welfare state to ensure the continuation of a capitalist organization of the economy. You can do certain things to make it feel like it's not as bad and to, to breathe life into it, okay? Now, 
I want to tell you a story about something fascinating. Oh, this guy Jackson Hickel is becoming popular in Japan. Kohei Saito, Marxist professor. An academic named Kohei Saito wrote a book about democratic degrowth communism. Everyone said it'd be a flop because degrowth is a terrible word and communism is a terrible word too, but it wasn't a flop. I guess he he debated the fucking Yale guy. By the way, for the record, from what I understand, that Yale guy is pretty popular in Japan. The Japanese professor in Yale that famously said, old people, I have an idea for you kill yourself yeah that guy is apparently really popular in the younger generation in japan so if you want to get a good understanding of like whether or not is working out here i'm gonna tell you something it's not okay when you got an entire generation of young people popularizing the concept of utilitarian socialized suicide you understand that shit is not working like demonstrably not working I've seen some of Kohei Saito's lectures. Very good. Anyway, so the other guy in Japan is the Yale uh, hyper-capitalist one. I, I think, isn't that a generational thing worldwide? Young people hate old people due to generational economical differences? No, 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 no. Brother, there's a difference between I wish we had the same opportunities that a prior generation had that they took for granted. And then here's a policy provision. Kill old people or get them to kill themselves. Like you you have to understand that there's a difference between the two, right? Like a Yale professor suggested mass suicide for old people in Japan. What did he mean? Why did they let him cook? Which is really interesting because like in Eastern uh, cultures, including even in Turkey, we have a lot of respect for the elderly. And it's something that we actually look in America and like laugh about. You know what I mean? You have to honor the elderly. Like we have so much honor and respect for the elderly that we look to America and the Western world and, and laugh about how they just like let old people die alone. You know what I mean? Like, you're supposed to take care of old people, right? The old people in your family. So it's additionally interesting to just, like, have a culture like that that's supposed to revere, respect the elderly, to turn around and be like, yeah, maybe they should kill themselves. Anyway, dude, I should get this Kohai Saito guy uh, to hang out with. That's who I need to talk to. I'm Chinese, and when I first came to America, I was shocked to learn that they put their parents into nursing homes. Yeah. Maybe if America had that culture, we wouldn't have geriatrics working in government. Yeah. <laughs> oh, like the kill old people culture? Yeah. My East Asian history professor once said that Japan is something people have tried to study, but it was like sociologically and geographically distinct, but there's not a specific factor. Yeah. Bro, especially with the language barrier, it feels like you're a fucking alien that dropped on to a foreign planet and the people there look like you. So like you're lucky everyone's a humanoid, right? So you can like utilize the tools that are given to you, but you're just like, it's it's like impossible to comprehend uh, everything that's going on. You're like, what the f***? How does this shit work, dog? How? You know, as someone who grew up in Turkey, someone who's been all around Western Europe and been in America, when I look to Japan, I'm like legitimately confused about how things work. So yeah, Kohei Saito wrote a book about democratic degrowth communism. He's Japanese. He's a Japanese Marxist academic, but it wasn't a flop. It was a runaway bestseller. The publisher sold half a million copies. Bookshops kept running out of stock. Something about this idea lit a flame among Japanese readers, young people in particular. People are hungry for post-capitalist ideas. It contrasts starkly with the West, where many socialists still cannot bring themselves to say degrowth, and many environmentalists still cannot bring themselves to say socialism. People once thought the same was true in Japan, but someone had the courage to break the taboos. Saito is an expert on Marx. He developed his ideas while reading Marx's unpublished notebooks from the last several years of his life. He draws on this work to articulate a vision for a just and ecological post-capitalist transition rooted also in anti-imperialist principles. The conventional wisdom is left uh, in Japan was in decline, but with Saito's book, that seems to have changed. The media cannot get enough of him and his ideas, not just in Japan, but now in Europe too. Saito has two books coming out in English soon. One is an academic text about Marx, ecology, and degrowth. The other one is dude i'm gonna follow this guy the other one is a translation of the japanese bestseller stay tuned in the meantime follow him this guy debated the yale professor is that what you're saying i'm not super fond of of degrowth obviously look at me i'm wearing fucking designer shit. i mean it's not consistent with my worldview but i'm willing to hear people out Degrowth is not primitivism, not at all. It means, among many things, for example, not overproducing everything for the sake of it. Sorry, but we have to. It's a must for sustainability. I know. I just, I also don't even think that it's like, I, I'm a firm believer that uh, mechanisms of control within governance are a necessity. We only need one brand of cookie made by the government. I personally 100% believe that forms of control is an absolute necessity. 
you know, you, you have to have a government and, and governance requires some level of like happiness that it creates within the population. Sedation is a mechanism of control and commodity consumption, like rampant consumerism is an incredibly demonstrably effective form of control. So I like it for that reason. I also like it because, I mean, I like, uh, you know, wearing uh, clothes and consuming stuff. Degrowth Andes when they get asked about insulin production. Okay. Anyway. The book starts from three things coming to an end today. Fukuyama proclaimed the capitalist end of history and traditional Marxist view of historical materialism as a progression towards the end of history. But the ecological crisis puts us at a potential end of human history. The Anthropocene uh, reveals the end of nature as an independent entity distinct from human society. However, while Latorians derive from this an ontological monism that cancels the human non-human distinction, Saito defends a dualistic theory of metabolic rifts. Also, capitalist realism, Ala Fisher, comes at an end. Eco-socialists are actively imagining alternatives to capitalism. Reviving Marx's writings about the ecology of capitalism could help. Mark wrote notebooks about natural science that constructs a helpful theory of metabolism. Ultimately, Saito claims that Marx experienced an epistemological break. Interesting. However, not in 1845 when the writing the German ideology, but in 1868 when Marx's interest in the ecological sciences pushed him toward degrowth communism. Need to read more about degrowth conflicting with forms of control? No, don't. I, that's just me. I'm an idiot. Don't listen to anything I say. Okay, these people are infinitely more intelligent than myself. I just personally think as a dumb guy, I know how dumb guys operate. And dumb guys need like sugar and treats. And when you have a healthy diet of sugar and treats, you will be more sedated, less interested in revolutionary action, less interested in recognizing the inherent contradictions within capitalism, as a matter of fact. It's not so much the Red Scare propaganda or all of our cultural institutions being propped up by capital owners to reinstate the attitudes or normalize the, the capitalist mode of existence, okay? It's not just that. The treats help a lot, okay? They help a lot, like really a lot. You know, I, I think that uh, you, you kind of need that. I like it. I need it. Don't do degrowth, please. I like my treats. Dessert existed before industrialization? Come on, brother. If I were to, like, rip you from your current uh, form of existence and put you in a situation where you have one fucking bland brand of cookies that the government made, you would lose your fucking mind. Pre-industrialization desserts were the same. Like, what? Come on. And you, I, I also personally don't think that that's a solid way to, like, advocate for normal people, too. Imagine taking a weeby take seriously. Wait, what? That's You think that's a weeby take? I mean, it's a pretty common anti-Marxist take is that like government mandated uh, one type of cookie which is a joke for the most part but like also if you're talking about pre-industrialization cookies like you know that's that's not exactly a good selling point okay that's that's good if you think the government is at least like making cookie production this motherfucker is not even saying that he's just saying no cookies by anybody you make it on your own if you want 